So in this presentation, we are going to discuss about data types and operators in the C++ programming language. So basically, uh, we know that all of our programming languages works on data and data can be of different types and we are going to discuss them and we are going to see how we will specify which data type we are using. So these are the two images with which you can see here. So first let's talk about the data types and data types you can see it has a word data in it. So data is basically uh, some raw uh, facts and data can be of different types. So our programs, uh, so let's suppose we write our C++ program so it has code in it. So the code can further be divided into data. So our code also has some data in it which is an important uh, you can say the section of your code. So the data can be of different types. So uh, different types of uh, data can be there and we need to specify them and we are going to use data types which are basically reserved keywords and this means that you can only use the that particular keyword or the word for only representation of that data and you cannot use it for any other purposes. So you can see that I'm going to write here some different types of data. First one you can see is integers. The second one is the characters and characters are basically represented using single codes. So you can see the characters can go from small a, small b to small z and it can also go from capital A to capital Z. So the third type is strings. You can see that hello is a string and string is represented in double quotes and uh, another string which can we can construct here at this point is the world. You can similarly construct some more strings. So uh, this is basically uh, three basic data types that I have shown here. So uh, there should be some mechanism or I should say there should be some basic representation of what this data type is. So Let's suppose I'm writing one. So let me first zoom in so that you will be able to see this table of data types more clearly. So you can see that in the first one is the long data type and you can see this number here. You can see that this number is from negative 9, 2, 2, 3 and so on till positive of that same number. So this is basically the minimum value and this one is the maximum value. And this whole thing is basically a range and long. So if you write, if you will create a variable and you will specify long in front of it, which we are going to see in the program, we will write the whole program and things will become more clear to you. So long is basically a keyword and you can see this range. This range is basically range of numbers that you can use under this data type. So although there are integers, but you can see that it has short data type, byte data type. So that means that if your number is exceeding from a minus 128 to 127, you will have to use some other data type. Similarly, there is a Boolean data type, which is true and false. Similarly, there is float data type which represents decimal numbers. There are some more data types and you will also, uh, we will learn them when we will proceed in with some more tutorials and basically I'm just giving you an abstract view and a very simpler view of data types and operators. We are going to use them in further uh, programming language as we will explore more and more topics in this programming language. So you can see double will have more range than float and you can uh, get to know uh, this range in the Visual Studio itself. You can see that the characters uh, have the data type char. So char is the data type of characters. Similarly, if we move on to operators, operators are very essential in performing operations among data. So let's suppose I want to add some uh, two numbers or three numbers or I want to perform some of the mathematical operations. I can use these operators. You can see this table. Although uh, you might not be, you might not know about uh, most of them. You can see that there is logical and logical or, 
logical XOR. You can see there are a lot of data types here. At this point, I am just giving you an abstract view of what operators are. Uh, we will use uh, most of them in the upcoming tutorials. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to talk about uh, variables and we are going to see how we can add to numbers. So let's first talk about the variable. So let's suppose I take a variable x and I say that x is a variable. Variable means that it can hold variable values or varying values, right? So if there is a, a variable x, it can hold, I say that it can hold integer values. So the variable can hold integer values. It can also hold uh, character values. So I will have to specify what type of data is it going to hold. So that's why I'm going to use the int keyword, int keyword. It's a result keyword and you cannot use it for naming. So you can see that in the first line I've written int x. In the second one I've written x is equals to 10, which basically assigns 10 to the variable x. So x is equals to 10 and remember to add a semicolon after each line. So in the next line you have seen I've written c out and two lesser than symbols and x. This basically prints the value of x in the output screen. So now let's move on to our first uh, C++ program in which we are going to use data types, variables and operators and we will actually perform our first operation in this programming language which is basically to add to numbers. So we are going to perform the simple, simplest of the operations. So the first step is that we should, uh, we will take two numbers from the user. Obviously, if we want to add two numbers, the first task is to take those two numbers. And in the step two, we are going to use the operator plus operator or the addition operator. We use the plus operator to add those numbers. Plus operator can also be used to uh, join two strings. It has some more features also. We will uh, cover them in the further coming tutorials. We will see most of them. So let's move on to the coding part and let's code our first variables. First of all, your program, the Hello World program looks here. You can see that this is the first program which you will see on launching this IDE. And we are going to work only in this section. So I've written a comment here comment can be written using two slashes. We will work in this section. This is the whole program. So just ignore this part and this file contains the main function program execution begins and end there. So we're going to work only in this section, the section included in these two curly braces. So let's first declare our first variable int x. So you can see that int is highlighted in blue color in light blue color which is basically highlighted by the uh, this visual studio and it means that it is a reserved keyword and you cannot use it for some different purpose in the next line i have assigned 10 value to x and y is assigned as 20 and you can see that you can declare two variables in the same line so int x comma y is similar to int x and int y so I've just adjoined it in just one single line. So now we know how to specify the data type and why there is a need to specify data type. And then we have assigned two values to the numbers. And now uh, let me just uh, zoom in so that you will be able to see this section more clearly. We will work only in this section. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use cout command. Cout is basically used to print the values in the console output or you will see the uh, that if you want to print x plus y you will have to write it like this c out two lesser than symbols and x plus y will basically print the value of x and y and the plus is the operator here you can even uh, code this on your own you can use some different operators like division and you can see the output there so this basically prints the sum of x comma y in the console. So let's run this program and see what will be the output in this program. Uh, we will also study about main function and functions, but this is something complex. So we're going to cover it in some other tutorials. In this tutorial, we're just focusing on 
data types and operators and only a few operators we will cover most of the operators in the upcoming tutorials you will explore them as we will move on some complex uh, concepts so you can see now that the output is 30 in the output screen so this is the desired result 20 plus 10 is equals to 30 so that's how we have worked on the data types so now we are going to perform some more operations so let me zoom out first and now let me move on to the notepad here so the code now we i want to just say this one important thing here which is int x comma y in this line you can see that int is a reserved keyword it is highlighted in blue and reserved keyword means that it is reserved for some purpose it has some different purpose in the programming language so it is reserved for the programming language it has some feature you cannot use that particular reserved keyword you cannot use this word for naming or any other purposes right so uh, basically uh, this this reserved keyword means that it is reserved and it has some special purpose in this programming language so actually you cannot uh, name a variable as int so int int will give you a error so you can also create some decimal values so let's work on with the decimal values which has some decimal numbers you can declare a decimal value using a float data type so you can adjoin it in the single line float x is equals to 1.24 so now the x is not an integer it's a float value that means it will hold only decimal numbers so let's now see how we can add two decimal numbers and we're also going to uh, use some of the some more operators right so let's move on to the visual studio and before moving on to the visual studio i just want to say one thing that uh, these operators this whole table and the data types i have given the links of these two images in the description below so you can download them and uh, it will act as a reference in future upcoming tutorials so you will need them so all right so let's move on to the visual studio and now i'm going to focus on this section in which we're going to work and now i'm going to change it to uh, let's say let's change to the double value so uh, i will write double here after writing double you will see that it gives you a suggestion uh, it will show you how much uh, precision or how much numbers after the decimal point you can have uh, I have assigned x is equals to 10.23 and y is also the same. So I have added these two float numbers and you can see the output here. So now you can see I have changed the values of x and y. So on focusing double you can see the largest value it can hold. So now uh, let's say I create another variable which is int z and I say that I am going to add these two numbers and then I am going to store it in z. So you can see that uh, whenever we were focusing it will say double and it shows a value uh, for fractions of second but if you focus for some more time it will show you uh, the precision values so once you are done with this once you store an integer value you will you will observe that x plus y will give a float a decimal value but when you store it in a variable z it will convert it will only take the integer part and the reason behind it is that z is an integer although y and x and y are double values which is the um, decimal values the output is going to be an integer so even if you will uh, you can run this you can see that it is showing only 3 which is the integral part of x plus y so x plus y is 3.77 so it will only show you 3 so let me change the value of y and I will change it to 2.94 so when you will add it you will get 4.17 so the integral part will be 4 so you can see the output it's 4 in this case now similarly you can uh, try out and experiment with some more values and operators and in this manner you will be able to see how 
this whole program works you can try it out yourself in the next tutorial we are going to discuss about flow control a very important tutorial